Hey guys, I wanted to do a bit of a quick video today to talk to you all about a piece of software that I have just found uh, for my Mac. Now this is Mac only software, so this is really for my Apple subscribers and friends. Um, this piece of software is called CamTwist. I actually found it through Chris Perillo, who is a very well-known uh, internet geek slash personality. And Chris Perillo has a live video stream at live.perillo.com. And that is basically all hooked up, as far as I know, to a Mac Mini. And there is feed going through his very snazzy Firewire camera to the Mac Mini. And the video that's coming through is being interpreted by this piece of software called CamTwist. And I'll show you what it does for him in a second. Um, and then it's put out through the internet through Ustream, I believe. Um, and what I want to focus on is this little piece of software in the middle called CamTwist. Now, I've always wanted to do, for example, if you look there, where I'm, my finger's pointing, I've always wanted to, when I'm talking about something, have an image of that thing there, you know, and you put a whiteboard there or something, but you want it digitally overlaid. And I always used to think, I'm going to have to pay for that, and that's going to cost me hundreds of dollars, and I might even have to get Final Cut Express to do this sort of thing, you know. Um, and wouldn't it be great to have, you know, a clock here, or a countdown there, and all sorts of things. Well, CamTwist does this. So let's have a look at a few of the effects now. What you do is when you open up CamTwist, um, you basically have uh, some video sources. Now the first off is a webcam, and if you have a built-in eyesight, it defaults to the built-in eyesight. Secondly is a desktop, which will take a desktop. Yes, a free screen capture utility for the Mac that works properly, finally. Slideshow, which will let you take some photos and put them in a slideshow, or movie, which will take a movie and do much the same thing. So I've selected webcam at the moment, and what that does is it creates another fake camera. It convinces OS X that there's another camera installed on the machine, and it basically takes the input from the eyesight and makes it appear as a new camera to different things. So right now in um, iMovie HD, I'm looking at it now, I've got built-in eyesight, but I've selected this new camera that's popped up called CamTwist. And so that's now a camera to iMovie, and it's recording right now. This is what I'm using to record. The quality dips a little bit, but um, you'll see why I couldn't care less about that in a minute. Okay, so now we have webcam, and I can add a few effects, and some of them are pretty trivial. I mean, I can add a cube, and I can change the thing on that. Oh! And if I delete that effect, it's back to normal. You know, I can do a... Um, what else? Flame on's cool. Flame on looks like everything's burning. It finds... Right. Um, even there's iTunes song, so we've got that now, and I'll just, uh, iTunes is quiet, because iTunes ain't doing anything, and, uh, I'll play a song here. It's been <laughs> iTunes is paused, and you can take that away, and that'd be cool for videos where you're like, guess that song, guess that Pokemon, guess that song, and it pops up the song, cool little things like that, I mean, you can do a fake letterbox effect, um, this one's cool, this one's a bad television set, which is a really nice effect, and it looks really good, and you can toy with the effects, the settings for them, I can change the vertical sync, the, the line sync, the distortion, the scan lines, and then you end up with a pretty crappy looking TV set. Um, you know, rotating Apple logos, and you can move that around the image, look, there's an Apple on my face. <laughs> and I can make that bigger. Oh. Um, what else do we have here? We have a thought bubble, you know. <laughs> Just kidding about that, I don't actually think Apple's God, I'm not that ridiculously much of a fanboy. But there's a thought bubble, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, moving on to Telestrator. Telestrator's cool, I mean, you know, Telestrator is really a bit of a laugh. Um, okay, we'll just do that, and that, and that, and, um, 
bit. Oh, I am Chinese. Oh, I have a whisker and a beard. Oh, hi. You know, um, all these cool effects. Now, I could go through them all, but there's about 50 here. And um, some of them are just fun. And some of them have been made obsolete by iChat and Photo Booth and Leopard. But there's some great ones like Bullet Time. Ooh, you know, Bullet. That sort of thing, which is a bit of fun. But let's get on to the things that might help me in my videos. Well, first off, we can add in an RSS ticker. There, that is a live RSS ticker, and as you can see, if you check the news, that is the current event. Um, these are this is from the Apple Hot News. It's a bit fanboyish to be honest, but Xan Two makes Xan set up simpler. Um, but you can change it to anything you want. You know, you can change the color of the font. Um, you can change the color of the shadow of the font. You can change its position on the screen, all in real time, and it's using about half the CPU to do this. You can lower the period, so it's really just... Yeah, it scans really, God, it is fanboy news. Um, so that's a, that's a cool one. Then there's um, weather bug, and this doesn't work in New Zealand, but if I type in 95014, which was Cupertino, Apple's zip code, there it is there. I can move that, the temperature there, and I'll choose not to display the weather icon, and there we go. Very unobtrusive, there's the uh, weather thing in my videos. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you today, guys. Show you how um, the software is around. And by now you're thinking, you know, you know, playing around with all the software here, and show, seeing all the stuff it can do, and all the effects it's got, and how easy it is to set up, and all this. You're probably thinking, wow, this software must cost, what, about $100? This is why I love Macs. This software is free. This piece of software is what drove Chris Perillo to use a Mac for his live feed. This piece of software right here, which does all these things, um, if you go to, if you search Locker Gnome on YouTube and have a look at some of Chris Perillo's videos, he's got a chat window down the bottom, which is basically um, an RSS feed of an IRC client. So it's basically taking the chat feed and putting it up there. Then next to that he's got an image overlay, a scrolling image overlay, which you can do with all the software that displays his sponsors. Up top he's got an RS feed of RSS feed of the current topic on the thing. So Mac setting up my new Mac Pro, January 27th, 8 p.m. He's got the weather bug thing there. And he can add all sorts of the stuff live, real time, and free. And in his own words, and this is a guy who is a Windows geek from way back, there is nothing like this for free on Windows. That's why I've got a Mac, guys. You know, stuff like this. But yeah, some really cool stuff here that I may, might be able to use in some of my videos. And even if not, it's just a cool little thing to have around for free. I ain't complaining. Catch you next time, guys.